Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be covering a level one in MIG welding, which is the same for stick and TIG. Obviously, with TIG, your pieces need to be a lot cleaner. But we'll get started. Here you've got your corner joint, which you can weld it as you want to. You've got your T joint. There are five pieces to level one, but two of them are T joints, which you prop inside and weld that way. Uh, which I didn't see a point in doing two T joints for this. I just thought I'd tell you what the other fifth one is. But your lap joint, which you've got to make sure you burn into all the edges. And your final one is just where you do three straight beads in a row. Uh, one of the cheapest ways to do this and save yourself money in doing a level one is you'd have to do two processes, but find a metal supplier. Don't go for these hobbyist ones because they tend to rip you off. Go for the likes of the I personally use FH bundle. The cheapest around, I pay about think they come in six or seven meter lengths. Uh, the 50 millimeter wide. And that's what your test piece is, uh, 50 millimeter wide. Uh, you can short, you can save yourself a bit of money in practice by doing three mil, and because on a level one you don't test for penetration anyway, so you can go to three mil and possibly 40 mil, but you don't want to go any further than that because you create a lot of heat as you're doing welding, and as you're going along on your piece, you might build too much heat into your weld, and especially if you're using three mil, you'll burn through and just just about fine tuning but it's easy to go thicker pieces if you're learning anyway uh, the theory you can expect with level one is not really much all you you do at the end of it you would chew it will take you around and basically just you've got to say the basics of what the machine is safety things and all that lot which you can save yourself money especially if you've you've been welding for a while now just practice these joints uh, or with two processes, either be it MIG or stick or MIG and TIG. Go to your local college, so you're interested in a level, doing a level two. And they'll set up a day for you to come in and they'll, they'll test where your ability is at and you'll either accept you straight on level two or obviously you have to level one. But if you do, if you know these joints, I guarantee you'll get straight into level two. Hell, some people just, when I was, was doing the courses, some people just turned around and said they knew how to weld and they got straight onto level two. But anyway we're gonna weld these and hopefully I'm gonna catch it on camera 